Hello and welcome back chess friends. Um, so before we play a game today, uh, there was a lot of accusations um, about the player that I played yesterday. And I'm usually kind of slow to jump to conclusions about someone and cast judgment. <laughs> so I just want to say that I don't think he was cheating. I've looked at a lot of his games and I just think it's not his first account, so I think he kind of just knew what he was doing, but at the same time, his gameplay does seem a little bit all over the place, uh, kind of like mine, <laughs> but he's probably just slightly better than me. <clears throat> but what I would like to do is just look at the game from kind of his vantage point and think about why he might have done what he did, um, sacrificing the queen on f3. So I think the main reason why he did it was, I think he just realized that my queen was trapped. Right. So, uh, h8, let's look at the squares that the queen couldn't run to. So obviously he, my queen can't run to h8. This is after I made the move to h7, by the way. Uh, I can't go to g8. Um, I couldn't go to h6. I couldn't go to g6. I couldn't go to f5. Uh, I couldn't go to g5. And I couldn't go to h5 because the knight was protecting. Um, so all the possible squares where the queen could have run, run off to, and also this wasn't a, a viable squ square for the queen to run off to. Uh, also, this was another square, uh, e4, that the queen could have ran off to. Um, all the viable squares that the queen could have gone to, my queen, um, were basically uh, defended by all of his pieces, right? His knight could jump here, his bishop could take here, his queen could take here, so his king could take here, his pawn could take here, um, obviously the king was defending there. So I think he kind of just realized that my queen was gone no matter what, um, so I think that was part of the reason why he just went in. Um, and also, I think what he also saw was that uh, if he did go in here, I mean, this pawn was going to go to f3, kind of like no matter what, right? And then he had a really obvious check. And he had a really easy attack on the queen. So honestly, I think he just got really lucky in this position. Um, I think he just happened to see it. So truth be told, and um, I think in his mind, he probably just wasn't thinking that I was going to push the rook out to like give the king an escape. So once he got into this position, I mean, the king was very blocked in, right? The king had very few uh, places to run off to. It was really just this one file and I didn't end up opening it up, which I should have done, um, opening up uh, the king to run away to the F file. So the king was very tight. Uh, as well and he had a lot of pieces <laughs> kind of going in this direction and then the h file was going to open up after he attacked the queen so personally i think that's what happened so anyways i'm kind of rambling on about this but long story short i don't think he cheated um i think it was just a really lucky move <laughs> so <laughs> um <coughs> excuse me now that we got that out of the way um, the server is going to restart in 20 minutes, so or 28 minutes. So I don't have time for a. That's fine. I don't have time for a 15-10 uh, game, so I'm kind of forced to play a 10-minute rapid game here. Um, okay, cool. I'm gonna try to just get the opening out of the way really fast. Um, I want to turn my sound on, by the way. Uh, play sound, 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 uh, pieces, I'll get back to that later, whatever. Um, okay, interesting opening so far. Uh, looks, ooh, uh, I don't know about f6 with the pawn. Um, I get he's probably trying to stop g5, but, um, either way, I don't think that's the best move. Probably could push d4. Um, I'll just go for the really early castle here. We're playing yet another Canadian, Q Valentine, Q Valentine, Valentine, 
think that's the right way to pronounce that. Valentin. Let's see if I have more luck against this Canadian A. Eh? Hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, so someone left a comment yesterday saying that uh, I was a little bit careless in the opening when I was playing um, because I got the knight out to f3, the pawn out to e4, and then my next move was knight c3, um, but a better move was uh, bishop b4, or c4, excuse me, uh, which I do tend to agree with. Um, so I'm doing that today. Um, but now I'm not quite sure if I should push d3 or take the knight out. Um, so I think what I'll do, ooh, ooh, I have a really sick uh, trade here too, by the way. Um, I think I'll just attack this. Uh, honestly, I'm fine to just trade off and stack his pawns there. He's going to have a really hard time castling. <clears throat> I think one of the comments that someone left on a video maybe like two weeks ago was that if the opponent hasn't castled, it's time to start pushing pawns. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more mindful about that. Um, also kind of thinking about yesterday's game since we were kind of talking about it was I think the one big strategic mistake that I made. Um, let's see, let me hold that thought. Oh, let's see, can I just win on this? No, he's got three there. Um, I believe I can just go queen and just trade the bishops off. I kind of want to just do this honestly and get it out of the way <clears throat> i'm okay with this move it'll just simplify the game and ruin his king side castle yeah okay so that's fine um yeah he's got really awkward structure <clears throat> really awkward structure i kind of blundered my english there um okay so i think next move i'll just go queenie two and then knight c Three. Uh, his pawn is a bit annoying, or uh, bishop is a little bit annoying at this point. Um, let's see. Could develop a knight. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah. So as I was saying, was I think one of the big strategic mistakes that I made in yesterday's game was I went for a really aggressive attack too early with the queen before all the pieces were developed um, and when i say all the pieces i mean i think everything except basically the rooks weren't developed so i think that was really the main problem was that the development wasn't complete but i launched a really really aggressive attack and it just wasn't the move i don't think it paid off <clears throat> at some point i'd like to start pressuring this bishop here but um Let's see, I think I'd like to just continue. Can I push here? No, not really. Looking at some of his weaknesses. Um, you go E2 or D2. I'm kind of thinking like A3, B4 as well. But. Hmm. Um, I'll just play a move uh, I don't think that was the best or the worst move but it was just a move uh, I can always pin his knight here too I kind of want to make want to make my a2 cubby hole for my bishop in case I need to fall back so yeah, I think strategically that was the worst mistake that I made in yesterday's game. Uh, say what you will about if he was cheating or not. Like I said, I don't think he was. But I still think there was some mistakes that I made in my game uh, that I could have corrected. So, um, okay, this is interesting. I think this just saves my bishop, right? Because I can just boom, boom, boom. Um, and then I'd rather him capture my bishop on b3 so i can recapture here so <clears throat> i think i'll just go for that yeah 
Yeah. Okay. So that was expected. I also have a really sick fork here. Um, only problem is I, I can't recapture. Hmm. Uh, interesting. I think I might go a three B four just to fork these two pieces. Hmm. Now I'm talking about development. Hmm. Um, and I am going for kind of an early attack before all my pieces have been developed. So I think really the last piece I need to develop is the F1 Rook here. You guys love to, oh, is that right? <laughs> um, You wanna go for the trade skis here? <laughs> yeah, this did get me into trouble last game, uh, like two games ago, <laughs> this position, huh? Well, I think I'm just forced to lose a Rook here. Uh, that's fine. I think I'm going to recapture uh, either his Knight or his Rook here. Kind of a bummer to lose this, but um, how can I really get around this? How can I punish this too? I don't really have a great way of punishing this either. Obviously, you can't take him pinned. I should have thought about that open file a little bit more. Kind of a mistake. How could I have protected that? <clears throat> I don't think I could have. Yeah, he'll take. Um, I think that's just a loss I have to suffer. Yeah, that was expected. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take with the king here, just so I can get out of this um, this open file here. Any drawback to doing that? Hmm. Hmm. I do like that the queen's protecting the knight. Um, I think I'd rather just take with the queen here. An undefended pawn here on h6, something to keep in mind. Also an undefended pawn on h7. I think my next move will be b4. <clears throat> the fork just seems too good to pass up here. Oh, really? No, I, I see what he's doing. He's x-raying this. Um... <laughs> Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, he's playing quite aggressive. Uh, I think I'll just go for a... Uh, hmm, what's the downside to this? I basically have to take with my queen there. Hmm, I could always move. Can't really attack his queen. Um, I'll just defend F2. Uh, unfortunately, my B pawn is hanging now. I don't think he saw that. Yeah, I think he should have just taken there. I think that would have been the move. Um, looks like he's going for this attack. Uh, actually, no, I'm defended on B2 with my knight. Sorry. Um, I'll stop his push here. <coughs> I think he was trying to attack since... G3 is still pinned. Oh, yeah, that's a good move. <clears throat> I didn't realize F2 was still pinned as well. Yeah, that's a good move by him. <clears throat> and now he takes my knight too, so I'm just getting crushed from like every angle. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. This is fine. This is fine. I think he's overextending himself. Uh, 
Let's see. He's not really attacking anything with his rook here. So I think I'm just going to go here, honestly, and just get this fork out of the way. <clears throat> I think my next move will be queen e2. Uh, so I can x-ray his rook and get his pawn in check. Oh, that's a really, yeah, that's a really annoying move. Um, that's fine. I don't think he saw that. Um, yeah, I could just get out of this. I can just get out of this, right? King's kind of in a pickle. Have a free knight here. Have a free knight. This will force his queen to take on a5, and then I can recapture on f2. Uh, and then I can start attacking his side of the board with my queen. Um, I can also... Oh, okay, yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good move. He's defending f6 there. Props to him. Props, props, mad props. <clears throat> I think he'll be forced to take. I'll be forced to move my bishop. This game's a little bit chaotic, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. The man's got a lot of pawns. <laughs> <laughs> could always take or re recapture <clears throat> rather hmm. push a pawn perhaps he's got quite the pawn wall <laughs> uh, what do we do hmm. can't quite trade off yeah I can't give him this rook Oh, uh, he's got a dark square bishop, so I have to remember that. <clears throat> Stay on light squares. <clears throat> he's obviously got a big advantage here. <clears throat> Might take a miracle to turn this one around. And that's okay. So far decent, so far decent. But relative term, I know he's up uh, quite a bit on material here, but I think I need to, I think I need to pressure his, his bishop and start working my way up his board. Yeah. He's got these big nasty, well, the board has these big open files that I'm not really taking advantage of, and I have a queen and a rook. Also, his rook uh, remains to be developed. Sure. So all my pieces are still safe here. I think he'll probably push a pawn. Um, I'll get pretty close to mate, honestly. I think he'll... Yeah, what, what would he do here? Oh yeah, that's really good for me, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna take... <clears throat> We're slowly equalizing. Need to make sure not to blunder this way. Okay. Probably 
go there. And then after that point, um, I don't have a ton of moves left. <clears throat> if I'm being honest. Let's see here. Hmm. Suppose I can get my bishop into the mix here too, huh? I think I should have just continued to check him and work my queen closer, but I like where my bishop is now. <clears throat> he will have the option of sort of running away at some point too. So it's something I have to keep in mind. I think e8 is going to be my next move, but... um. Fortunately, my back rank is uh, is safe. I do have this sacrifice here, but what do I really gain from it? I think I just have to inch my queen closer to him. He'll be forced here. I think I have to sack the rook. <clears throat> oh no, maybe that's not a good idea. Oh, what's the move? What's the move? Do I just sack a rook here? Hmm. No. Oh, what's the play? What's the play? Ah, oh, it's so close. Ah, uh, buh, 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 buh. I just don't know. That was not the move. I think I had a better move here. Ah. Let's see. Yeah. Could that have been winnable? Yeah, I think I was on the right idea there. Um, obviously, it was just time pressure. Another brilliant move. Oh, wow. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. Okay. So this is the Italian games. Okay, so this is the correct opening. So we're doing good so far. Okay, so pushing the d4 pawn would have been a better play there. Okay. Oh, d4. Sure. Because he hasn't brought his bishop out to c5 yet. Sure, so we could have traded off. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay. I need to remember that. Um, that happens to me a lot. Okay, h6 is good. Yeah, so that got his pawns into a not-so-great structure. Oh, sure. So I had, like, h4, f5. It would have been pretty good. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this knight was pretty inactive on that square, huh? Wait, the engine really wanted me to go there. You lost your advantage and now the position is balanced. Wow, I had a really big advantage here. Huh? Good to know. Yeah, this was sort of that developing move that I was really unsure about. Um, I just want to see something. Maybe like knight a4 would have been an okay move. Attack his bishop. Okay, so that would have been an okay move too. Right, because his bishop was basically blocked in here. D4, B6, he couldn't escape to. Hmm. Yeah, E3, F2. Those all would have been really bad moves for his bishop. Yeah, so I kind of ignored his bishop here for a long time, and then it kind of became uh, became a thorn in my side throughout uh, the rest of the game. So, okay, something to think about. Hmm. What would have been the better move here? Maybe like d2? Oh, um, this is an inaccuracy, huh? 
<clears throat> I'm just wondering. Ah. So I kind of ran the wrong way with my bishop here. I was trying to be too clever with messing with his pawns. Well, I'm glad this is a brilliant move. Leaving your rook open to attack. Yeah, this just seemed like the sacrifice that had to be made. Because <clears throat> what else do you really do here, right? I'm just wondering if I would have moved my king. <clears throat> That's just a blunder. Because he can take that pawn. Yeah, and then what do you do from there, right? You go here, and then... Yeah. Okay, so brilliant move. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was brilliant. It just seemed like an okay move. <laughs> kind of just seemed like the logical thing to do. It's kind of like minimizing your losses. Uh, losing this rook here. Taking with the queen. I wonder if taking with the rook, what does it have to say about that? It's best. Gotcha, yes. Or what about taking with the kink? Is excellent. Okay. Yeah. So I was in a little bit of a debate about that. Whether we take with the queen or leave the king in a bit more of a castle position. Um, but yeah, it looks like clearly just taking it off the same file as the rook here was probably the better idea. I think that did end up hurting me. <clears throat> this is a really messy game, by the way. I mean, this is just full of inaccuracies. It's really bad. <laughs> uh, why did I go here? I thought this was an okay move just to protect f2, right? Hmm. So I wanted to attack. Okay, that's fine. But then what if he attacks here? So this is fine. Hmm. Wait, what do I do here? I'll take, oh, sure, so just trade the queens off? Oh. Makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a good move, huh? Yeah, he recognized that this pawn was pinned, so that was a really good move by him. Props to you, Valentin. Valentin. Oh. Engine, what do you want? Ah. Uh, yeah, so I was in a little <clears throat> bit of a debate here. Because the rook wasn't really an active threat. Yeah, it was kind of in my territory, so I kind of left it alone, but... I guess it makes sense, moving the queen to the open file. Maybe I could have done some more damage to him. Um, a bit sooner with all these pawns that he had floating around. Um, and I think I would have been able to win this rook off at some point too, even if I just went like, you know, g2, g8, and then the rook was pretty much open for the taking. Um, maybe, uh, maybe that would have made a difference. Who knows? Uh, I don't think he noticed that the knight was defending f2 there, so... Or maybe he was just trying to trade pieces off. Sure. <clears throat> Why did I move the king here again? That doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Let me go back to analysis mode. Recaptures. Yeah, it's a good move by him. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That was kind of a free knight. Okay, good move there. Okay. That was just moving the bishop to safety. You're threatening to win a bishop. I am. Yeah, okay, so this just moves the rook to safety. Yeah, I thought this was a good move as well. Oh, the check. Oh, duh. Oh, it's so obvious now. <clears throat> I was so hung up on capturing these pawns that I didn't notice this. I don't think I had mate, though, did I? Or, uh, like, a possibility for mate, did I? Yeah, so he scoots over, and then what? Another check. So he scoots over, and then what? Interesting. Huh. Uh, 
what if I would have went like a e6? That's a bad move. He goes there. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just <laughs> playing some lines for fun there. <laughs> so this is a mistake, huh? F7. <clears throat> so I think the reason why I went H7 here and not F7 was because uh, I was I'm trying to get better at the checks, captures, attacks principle, and I figure H7 was both an attack a capture and a check um but i was kind of failing to notice that the bishop and the queen were connected on f7 there so bad move here huh oh right 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 so getting the bishop into play yeah i don't know why i was just ignoring this giant open diagonal with the bishop here that's just my 700 elo brain not thinking straight so he's forced to b8 then what could I have done here? D7. Mm, okay. Great move. Now what does he have? Oops. What's this? Uh, I don't think he would have played that line. Oh, sure. So this removes the defender on B5. And then it would have basically been over. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Cool. So kind of going back to what I was what I was saying was there was definitely a possibility for mate here. I was just not able to find it. Um, but it seemed like sacrificing one of these pieces had something to do with it, uh, as we can see here now by reviewing this line. A good choice to move your threatened queen. Sure. So it looks a better way to evade check from the opposing queen left the pawn hanging uh yeah that's fine mm, so get, move the rook out yeah i was kind of in a kind of in a desperate situation here <clears throat> i was really contemplating uh going for this rook sacrifice um I think I just did it too late. And here I was basically left with one second. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So moving the bishop to a centralized square would have been the play. Uh, and then that kind of x-rays uh, his rook here as well. Uh, and then what could I play? Oh, check. Isn't that just go back and forth? Hmm. I don't know. I probably would have played that, knowing me. <laughs> then he would have played d1. Yeah, okay. Anyways, it was a fun game. It was a fun game. Um, I think the best idea he had going was when he put his bishop onto h3 and he put his rook on the open g file. Um, but there was... Uh, an attack that I kind of failed to realize on his bishop with my knight early on. And then I didn't really make great use of my knight at this point too. Uh, it wasn't really attacking much. It was very passive here. So getting it into the action, and since this pawn, uh, the G pawn had moved over to the H file, I could have utilized that a little bit. So something to think about. And yeah, it's attack, but you know, it takes... And it opens up the file for the queen. So yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, man, I really hope I start to feel better. My uh, pink eye, I think, is at its peak today. So if you're wondering why I look like a little bit of a crazy person and sound like a crazy person, it's because I feel like a crazy person <laughs> at the moment. Not necessarily crazy, just very, um, very ill and ready to recover. <laughs> so... If you're here till the end, thanks for being a true fan, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully.